forced. Can you get out of the camera, please? It's actually not your time to vlog right now. You will get your time. What is up, everyone, and welcome to my very first YouTube vlog live video, whatever you want to call it. Has been a long time coming. I kind of been wanting to do YouTube for a long while, but. I guess I've never really had the exact excuse and good reason enough to make an actual video, so today is the day. Um, today I have a very good reason to be starting vlogging, and it's a special day, it's a scary day, I'm super nervous. I think it's about time I tell you guys that I am getting a rest augmentation today. So I am getting a boob job, implants. This has been a long time coming, um, I guess I wanted to film this whole experience for you guys, I wanted to um, when I looked out there and had a look at some of the uh, videos, I didn't find them that informative, so I kind of want to um, answer questions and show you guys as well for someone who is, you know, in the fitness industry, I'm supposed to be competing, uh, I train every day, so what it's going to be like for me may be a very different experience as it might be for someone who um, doesn't train, so that's why I kind of want to do this video. <laughs> <laughs> <Take it. laughs> Why did I decide to get them done? So, uh, the real story is back when I was uh, like probably 16, I believe it or not, at one stage in my life had double D's, almost double D's, um, size boots. So, I then obviously that's when I put on my weight and I started my fitness journey, and that will be another video for another day. And so, once I lost all the weight, I guess they became empty and just not as full as I'd like them. So, I've always kind of thought um, about getting them. I just actually personally don't really like the look of fake boobs. Um, so it's, it's taken me a while. I probably would have done this a couple of years ago, but I definitely want to try and actually think about it. I've got the rest of my life to have them, so it's definitely not a decision that um, you should rush or that I wanted to rush. I also, you know, obviously in the industry that I'm in with fitness, uh, modeling and things like that, uh, proportions is a big thing. So um, I'm not under any impression, nor under any pressure that I need to get a boob job because of competing or because of modeling. No way, um, but it does come into proportion, and I just think I just think they look great. I just think boobs look great, and I've always envied my girlfriends that have them, and I think they look feminine. And uh, I'm not saying that you can't be feminine without them. Um, there's definitely pros and cons to both, and I'm someone like the top that I'm wearing right now. I always wear little bandeaus. Um, I never wear a bra. It's just always been something that I found really easy um, to not have big boobs, but I also love the look of them as well. So. Purely, I don't need to justify myself, and you never need to really justify your decisions on anything you do in life. It's not going to change the person I am because I've got implants. Um, it doesn't change my morals or my beliefs. Um, but it's something that I want to do for myself, and I just want to uh, share this experience with you guys. I think there's not that much information out there, and um, especially for someone who does train every day, this is going to be this is going to be tough. How am I feeling at this very point in time? I'm very nervous. I'm. More, I'm not nervous for surgery, I'm nervous for waking up and just thinking, oh my god, what have I done? And I, I don't know, I watched all these um, videos of you know, people getting breast implants and they were all just super excited. And I mean, I'm excited, but I'm freaking nervous. Um, <laughs> that you're going to wake up with something that's not yours, something that's very foreign to your body. It's going to feel, I feel like, you know, I'm just, I've got so much room to do things up here. And I just feel like they don't really get in the way of anything. I feel like I'm going to get a rude shock. You know, posture and everything is going to be different. I don't know. It's, I'm really nervous just to see how they're going to fit into my life. And it's not like you can say, all right, this isn't working with my lifestyle anymore. You guys can leave. Like, they're, they're here. They're going to be with me for a long time. So this is going to be very interesting. And uh, I just want you guys to know that, yeah, this wasn't about you know, being influenced by anyone else but myself and my own decisions. Um, and that's why I feel so content going and getting it done today. So before you think about doing it, think about the real reasons why you're getting it done. Um, is it because you're influenced by social media and other girls that are doing it? You think these girls look sexy and doing that because um, that's not what you should go off. You should go off, you know, what you're trying to achieve, what book you want. Um, but if it is going to make you happier and more confident, then I think I have to go for it. But definitely take some time to think on it. It's not everything. It's definitely not everything. And it's just a small little bump in the road, um, small little enhancement, and that's all. So make sure you guys don't feel pressured into doing this. Um, it's just a self-decision that I've made.
what do you think about me getting big titties? So we've got one with a breast reduction. How many weeks ago? Seven weeks ago. Seven weeks ago we've got a breast reduction. And now we're getting implants, so don't do it. Big titties get in the way <laughs> of everything. <laughs> surgery and my throat's croaky I think from the tube um, left boob feels fine the right one's a little bit sore and I feel a bit nauseous and I'm so so tired and I'll do another review as soon as I can on sizing um, I ended up going with the smaller ones just because that's what we decided, so I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> so I'm a couple hours post surgery now. I've got this cute compression bra on. Um, when I woke up, I was kind of a little bit disappointed just because I thought they were too small because um, I was laying down. Now I'm loving them. I'm loving them more and more by the minute. Um, and the pain's starting to hurt now. So the pain's not really like um, anything like what I expected. It hurts when I press down on something or, you know, tried to shut the car door. Um, it, obviously more internally, but, you know, standing up and all that, that is actually okay. Um, the nausea is gone so far. Um, and I've just taken my first lot of pain medication, so... Hopefully that kicks in and I'll have a good sleep. Obviously I have to sleep upright, um, but as for now, I think we're all going pretty well. Well, oh, couldn't miss a camera opportunity, could we? Good morning, everyone. So it's the morning after at about 9 a.m. I was pretty smug yesterday thinking I got away with no pain. And surprise, the pain arrived at my door at about 12 o'clock last night there's my carer coming in <laughs> um so yeah the pain has started i've got a croaky voice from the tubes being down my throat the pain's more about uh, compression really restri restricted especially underneath um into the side and in the middle so pain as in if you don't really move isn't too bad but the second you do move or try to get up or put any pressure through the pec muscle that's when it starts to hurt so like the worst part is sometimes you obviously forget you know, I go to pull the blanket up, and because you've done that, you've just flexed those muscles. <laughs> and <laughs> and then you let go, and that's the pain. Um, same with pressing down. So um, I won't be doing all that too much today. It'll be interesting to see whether day, what was it, day two or day one, is uh, the worst part, or whether it's going to be a little bit worse tomorrow. Some of these painkillers that make him obviously very drowsy. Apart from that, I haven't cried. I haven't been in that kind of, that kind of pain yet. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, definitely have to be careful and sleeping in the upright position as well. Not as upright as this, but a little bit further <coughs> down. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated with that. But as for now, I'm not dying. I'm okay. Do I know that I've got implants in? Yes. <laughs> you can definitely feel it. But I'll keep you guys posted a little bit later. And this is their one week post op. So this is, I ended up getting 300 um, cc put in with a, I think, moderate profile. So the moderate profile meant that I didn't want them to come out too high. I wanted them to kind of sit lower, like more of a teardrop, um, and come out lower at the bottom. So that's what I kind of went for, really natural look. They're still a little bit swollen. I got my main swelling around my sides, actually, uh, rather than anywhere else. And they've just started to drop a little bit more over the last couple of days. So for the first few days, um, I kind of now understand where the term bolt-on came from because they definitely just feel bolted on and they feel like completely unnatural obviously but <laughs> now that they're kind of settling a little bit more they're starting to feel a little bit more like mine you can still always 24 7 i feel pressure through my chest and that is normal um but as for you know how they're looking and how they're sitting at the moment i'm starting to be a lot more content and happy now a week post and they're obviously just going to get more and more natural as my recovery goes on so they really tend to settle um obviously just more with time and I think if you are going to get a big drop, don't um, judge it off the first few days. I was a little bit stressed for a little bit there. Um, I'm really happy with it now. 
and I think I'm going to be even more happy with it in a couple of weeks' time. For body wise as well, for you know body fat and everything. I don't want to know. I don't want to know about it. But I don't think I've actually put on any weight. I think I've probably lost a little bit bit of weight. I'm uh, kind of not as full as I was the other day and the other week when I was training because you're able to keep stimulating your muscle groups. What tends to happen as well, a lot of people don't realize that when you are training, you generally uh, eat more and you generally crave more as well. So when I'm not training, I'm actually not eating as much as I would be even though you're kind of sitting around and not doing as much. You think it would be the other way around, but it's not. Um, so I've probably only, mean, which is not good, but I've only been having like two meals a day, two to three meals a day, and just kind of eating what I feel like. You know, still watching my sugar intake and things like that. I've just been going really off what my body felt like it needed at the time this last week. As of today, I've started raining it in a little bit. Um, I'm going to go to the gym later on today, so I'm now seven days post. I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> the nurses and all that hate me right now. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go to the gym, and I'm just literally going to sit on the cycle bike and just cycle. 20 to 30 minutes that's it and that's what I think I'm going to do over the next week obviously go off how my body feels I'm not doing any interval training just steady state um, and my eating's just going to clean up a little bit now and I'm going to start getting back into my business as of today and prep hopefully can get underway in the next three weeks I'll be able to go back to training so four weeks post-op you have to get back to training I'm literally counting the second <laughs> But that's pretty much it for my first video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I know it's been a lot of me just sitting down and talking. But I wanted to have a real good reason to start YouTube and I think I've done it. So hopefully this was informative for you guys. And if you're getting a good job, read this, take it into consideration, think about it, be prepared for the recovery because I kind of wasn't. <laughs> um, and I'll update you guys on this in the next couple of weeks.